What's up guys? Today I'm going to measure both of these crankshafts using a dial indicator to figure out the total indicator runout or TIR. Another term they'll use in service manuals is FIM which means full indicator movement. They both mean the exact same thing. Ninja 400 uses TIR so that's what I'm going to use. So starting out here is the original crankshaft and as you can see that journal is very damaged. So what I went and ended up doing was just purchasing a used one from eBay, $260. And as you can see, it looks excellent. All of the journals are clean, polished, but we still need to test this one for runout. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put this in the original crankcase with the bearings in place and a little bit of lube. Normally we'd use V-blocks, like you can see here, Unfortunately, my V-blocks were a little too thick. That's what she said. Then we're gonna set up the dial indicator. So the apparatus on this makes it kind of tough to zero out because every time you press the button, it moves. So we're starting at 0 0.01. So just keep that in mind. And it drops to 0 0.00 never goes over that so our total indicator runout is 0 0.01 millimeters because that was the variance and now if you look in the upper right hand of your screen you'll see the service manual that says standard runout is 0 0.02 millimeters or less we have 0 0.01 so we're good service limit is 0 0.05 so here is the original crankshaft and as you can see the numbers will start bouncing around they eventually end up at 0 0.06 millimeters, so this one is no longer serviceable. It is a giant paperweight. So that is all you need to do to test run out with a dial indicator. It's very easy, uh, and service manuals will call for it when you are rebuilding an engine. So if you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.